Who would you rather look like, Chris Bumstead or Nick Walker? At one time, that's what bodybuilding was all about. Who you wanted to see in the mirror. And a lot of the judges would really base their entire judging on that. Of course, there was either guys with muscle or without. And generally, the guy with muscle won the competition. And back in the day, having the most muscle on the stage... Usually they were aesthetically pleasing, but today we have a lot of, you know, extracurricular things that can make us huge and monstrous. And bodybuilding is a sport just like any other, and, you know, more muscle wins the competition. But anyway, beauty versus beast, we have a comparison between the men's classic physique division champion and a would-be champion. A guy placing, what, fifth? Should have got fourth. Did he place fourth? I think it was fourth. Anyway, anyway. Chris Bumstead. He's winning in the vacuum. Surprised that he has a very good set of quads in this one. But I mean, look at the rest of the body, guys. Look at this. Men's classic. I mean, needs more arm meat for sure. You know, if you cross these two together, you'd get this man, Sean Ray. That's a cross between the two. Anyway, anyway. Get back to business. All seriousness, Bumstead does win, probably on the entire torso, depending on who you're talking to. I mean, Nick Walker is a tank. His abs need to resemble that as well. So I guess if he had a vacuum, he wouldn't have much flow, would he? Having said that, the front lat spread is definitely not that way. It looks like to me, muscle for muscle, Bumstead winning in the lats. Bumstead, he even has more muscle separation in the arms here. Pecs, perhaps, as well. And look at those quads of Bumstead. Calves look a little bit dainty, I gotta say. And considering this is a cross-division matchup, hey, if a guy wins one shot, I'm gonna count it one to one, even though the judges would look at that front double and they'd award it. the entire competition to Nick just because of the overwhelming muscle mass but this is a picture comparison on a YouTube channel. Any, anyway, side chest development. Both guys look good here. Aesthetically pleasing. And you gotta think. They have to draw a line and they have to say, okay, who wins? Who wins if they both look good? Well, you gotta award the win with the you gotta award the win to the man, rather. I apologize. With the most muscle mass, the most separation, the most condition. Condition seems to be pretty equal. Chris Bumstead, I love that side chest. Wow. Definitely deserves a wow. A little robotic wow. That's my that's my thing. Having said that, side tricep. Look at Bumstead. The aesthetic flow here. That chest, those abs, that arm. Oh. Straight from the 70s. Straight from the 70s. Quad looks great too. Coloring is perfect. Just perfect flow, symmetry, proportions, everything. Now Nick Walker, he does not get as much praise as he should in the side tricep. I mean, those abs, they blend in with the rest of the physique. He gets criticized. He has thick midsection. But like I said, it's a tank. It needs to have tank abs too. And his, you know... His proportions, even flow, conditioned. His toe is as conditioned as his head is, if you know what I'm sure saying. Let's have a look at the back development, guys. And this picture here is... Might as well throw it out the window. It's not a good shot at all for Nick Walker. It's panned back. Looks terrible. But taking nothing away from Bumstead. He looks tremendous here. Now here is... Two pitchers that you can, you know, the, the, the sizing is going to be the same. When they're pan back, it distorts everything. Look at Bumstead compared to this juggernaut. As good as he is, he does not compete with this great big grizzly bear back of Nick Walker. This is uh, next level stuff. Write this one off. Go home. Send it home a little early anyway. Abs and thigh, this should generally be a, a win for Bumstead. And in my eyes, it is aesthetically pleasing. Who do you think the judges would give it to? I think they probably would give it to Nick Walker. 
And this is one of those distorted shots again for Nick Walker. He looked better at, uh, oh gosh darn it, New York. He looked better in the abs and thigh. Uh, Arnold's classics. Come on, get to the, the shoelace. But anyway, most muscular, I mean, take it for what it is. It's just a just a finisher, guys. Obviously, they're not uh, front on, which you need to really have to judge this one. I guess they're going nose to nose. Careful you don't get too close. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Who would you rather look like? Bumstead, I'm sure 90% of you guys would want to look like Bumstead. But you have to be realistic about this one, guys. Get serious. Come on. Nick Walker is your winner. Get serious. Do it. Come on now. But anyway, anyway, you have to draw a line uh, at some point. I mean, I know this was a fan request. I like doing these fun ones every once in a while. But I'm sure a lot of people are thinking it's it's men's classic. That's why they go into men's classic. They're only allowed to get so big. Things of that nature. I understand that. We just like to have fun here at Max Maximus. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. I appreciate all your views. And uh, yeah. All right. Have a good one.